Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. Now for today's video, I want to showcase what in my opinion is probably one of the best weapons in the entire game for Lords of the Fallen. Now this video is going to have some slight spoilers in case you don't want to know what one of the major bosses are, uh, but to get the weapon I'm talking about in today's video, you are going to have to defeat one of the major bosses and then claim the weapon with the remembrance from the guy that sells all of the uh, boss weapons. So if you don't want to be spoiled, then turn away now. Now normally when it comes to to a weapon that's just extremely overpowered in a Souls-like game, odds are it's probably like a giant colossal hammer or colossal sword, or maybe it's something really fast that can do just a ton of DPS that can proc bleed pretty quickly. And there's just so many weapons in this game that I figured that most people would probably look this one over, and I tried to research it. I watched maybe five or six YouTube videos talking about just good weapons in Lords of the Fallen, and I've not seen anyone mention this one yet, but this weapon is a throwable weapon and it absolutely melts through everything. And as soon as I got this weapon, it was like turning on a cheat code, and it basically just put the rest of my playthrough on easy mode. And the weapon in question is called the Corrupted Banner Javelin that you can receive from defeating the Judge Cleric, the Radiant Sentinel. Now this is definitely one of the later game bosses, and it is an insanely difficult boss fight because there are two phases into the boss fight. The first phase alone could be pretty rough, and it took me a number of different tries just to defeat the first phase. And then after about a half an hour of trying to figure out the first phase, I found out there was a second phase that was even harder than the first phase, and by this point you're probably already short on like healing potions and stuff. In the second phase she's more aggressive, there's tons of like AoE damage, and explosions and this boss fight was awful i went at it for like two hours straight and it, it was it was not fun i think they wanted to like one up elden ring for having just a badass boss chick that everybody just talks about in the community but for me this boss fight just I just didn't like it. Uh, it just wasn't as fun as uh, Melania or Melania or however you say her name in uh, Elden Ring. But once you finally defeat this boss and you go back to the hub area and you talk to the merchant that sells the boss weapons and you can buy the corrupted banner javelin for just 10 umbral scoring. It says the remnants of a war banner can be thrown or placed in the ground, inflicts physical and fire damage. And this is a throwable weapon so it's going to consume your ammunition. So if you're going to be using this weapon, make sure sure you have a lot of ammo pouches which are pretty easy to find I mean they drop in the wild and you can buy them at merchants now I normally just buy mine at the blacksmith and if you don't have the blacksmith I recommend looking up how to find her I mean at this point there's like tons of guides on how to find the blacksmith but the blacksmith does sell them and they can be a bit expensive at the blacksmith so I recommend doing some sort of farm I have a couple videos on my channel going over some of the best farming methods or just look up any of the hundreds of bigger farms that have been posted on YouTube YouTube, but you are going to be burning through a lot of ammo if you use this weapon, but trust me, it's worth it because it absolutely shreds through everything. This is my go-to weapon for clearing out large groups of enemies. If there's a bunch of small, like, zombie dudes coming at me, I could just slam this into the ground and it will take them all out at once. This is great if you're getting completely swarmed and you have nowhere else to go and you have to stand and fight. It's great at taking out those annoying dogs that like to get up in your face, and it will absolutely shred through boss fights. Now after I got this javelin there were still a number of different boss fights that I had left to do in the game and it made the boss fights just an absolute breeze. And as you can see here I was able to kill one of the bosses in just 17 seconds and honestly I probably could have done it even faster. You basically just spam throw as many javelins as you can and if it hits an enemy directly it's going to do a ton of just base damage but then once the javelin is planted into the ground it's going to do this big AoE effect where it constantly does tick damage to whoever standing in the radius. So if you throw like six or seven of these down in one spot and then you just do a little dance with the boss and keep them aggroed onto you and just run around in circles around all these javelins, all this tick damage is going to build up and just absolutely melt a boss's health bar. So anytime a boss is giving me trouble and I just want to end the boss fight quickly and you know get it over with, I will just spam throw these all over the place and just stand there and let them do the work for me. So for the rest of my playthrough, I tried to play most of the bosses just normally because I felt like I was cheating anytime I used the javelin. 
But after like four or five tries, if a boss really started to get on my nerves, I would just pull out the javelin and then the boss fight was as good as done. But my favorite thing about the javelin is that it does a great job at taking out these little mini boss type of enemies, you know, where you face them first and they're an actual boss. And then going forward, they're just a reoccurring enemy that you just see all the time. These type of enemies can take a lot of hits and they do a ton of damage. And normally it can get pretty overwhelming when you have three or four of these mini boss type enemies up in your face all at the same time. But with this javelin, you can just spam them all over the place and clear an entire room worth of these mini boss type enemies in a matter of seconds. And I can't express enough just how much I hate some of the enemy types in this game, such as the butterfly creature that spawns like a million zombies, or the really bulky dudes that sprint at you with the spikes on their head. Those guys are super annoying, and this javelin just cuts through all of them like butter. Now if you want to increase the overall amount of ammo that you can carry, you want to upgrade your endurance levels and your vitality levels. And if you want to upgrade the amount of damage that you can do with the Corrupted Banner Javelin, then you need to upgrade your strength and your agility levels, because this is going to upgrade your physical damage and the Javelin focuses on doing physical damage. And then to upgrade the damage of this weapon even more, for the equipment I went with, I went with the Warrior's Claw Talisman that you can wear as a necklace. And then for the ring, I went with the Ring of Night's Fire, where it says it does additional fire damage and wither damage. And in the description of the Javelin, it says it inflicts physical damage and fire damage. Now for some reason, it doesn't show up in the stats that it does fire damage, but in the description, it says that it does do fire damage. So either way, I put on a ring that says it does fire damage but literally any ring that increases physical damage will do here uh, and then i went with the slingers ring where it says it deals additional damage with throwables so if you want these specific items there's tons of youtube videos out there showcasing where to find like literally every item but really any equipment items such as rings or whatever that focuses on doing additional physical damage or throwable damage is going to be a good option here but as for the location of this boss fight i would say just look up the location of abby of the hollowed sisters and try to find a guide for that i normally have a pretty good sense of direction in video games but this game i got lost so many times trying to find where to go the lack of a map and just the fact that everything looks the same everywhere you go just makes things super confusing so just try to find a guide of how to reach the abbey of the hollowed sisters and then just keep pushing forward from there on and you'll find the boss encounter but that is going to do it for everything in this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, then please give this video a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. That way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. And that is going to do it for me, everyone. And I will talk to you all next time.